Hi, this will be the final part of NEET MDS 2020 paper discussion videos. We have covered so far 22 parts around 215 plus questions. And in this final part, we'll go through the reminder topics based on the keywords which are given by you, right? And before I proceed, it's been a wonderful journey all these two to three weeks. It's been really challenging, but at the same time, as I said, it's been wonderful because it's challenging. So you guys were really very active and enthused in giving out key points, keywords, several questions, the options which you remembered. It was really a pleasure interacting with each and every one of you through mails and through YouTube. So well done everyone and no matter how the result turns out, just keep in mind you did what you had to do. And just let's hope for the best and wait for better things to happen. And this result will not decide your fate, take my word. There are still many opportunities which will be coming in your way and all you need to do is just be open and tap into your potential, right? So in this video, let's focus on the additional topics which we left out so far based on the keywords that you mentioned. In fact, I don't have any additional information except for these keywords. So if you have any additional info, do drop them in the comment section below. I'll see if I can get some relevant literature and I'll update that in the description part of the video for sake of your convenience and referral, right? Now, the first one is recycles on lower lip image based question so see if you have any additional information like any clinical features indicating whether it's a bacterial or viral infection do let me know we'll review that accordingly and the next one is difficulty in sleeping edema of legs some case based question with heart failure in options so do let me know again and next i have the following keywords induration or concavity at root apices uh, proximity to inferior alveolar canal uh, bifurcation so those are some of the keywords which are received it seems like a case based question extraction of molars and there was concavity at root apices do let me know again i know uh, 240 questions we get an average of 45 seconds but since the questions were very lengthy i can understand the fact that you were exposed to only few seconds for each question but still as i said you did a great job in recollecting as many keywords as many questions as possible now our next one drugs used in hemophilia so let me know what the question is in specific coefficient of dermal expansion was there a question on the same okay next phases of treatment planning in perio I'll see if you can get any question and then ex extra material which is used in soldering or welding so those are some of the words which i received in mail this i got through mail and headgear chin cup case based question pertaining to orthodontic treatment so again I review it once and also i had this flush terminal plane and occlusion so those are the keywords and from dental and autumn, I've been seeing this uh, keyword uh, several times, uneven surface. So I, I'm not exactly sure what the question is or uh, the details of the same. So do let me know. Staphne assist, was it asked? So check it out once. Point contact. Again, these keywords I've seen a number of times. Point contact, surface contact, right? So anyways, let me know what the question is. If you remember, Joglin syndrome, there seems to be like two or three questions, right? So check it out and again update me accordingly. Caries severity, was that related to index or a case based question? Again check it out and let me know if you remember. Pitts-Jigar syndrome, there seems to be a case based question. Lacrimation during eating, I guess that's a case based question. And, and also the parts of implant, was there a separate question on parts of implant? And also any additional keywords do let me know. As I mentioned, I'll be updating any additional information based on the keywords in the description part of this video. And this will be the final part in NEET MDS 2020 paper discussion series. And as I said, uh, these last two to three weeks has been challenging yet amazing experience interacting with each and every one of you. And looking forward to hear from you all. So wish you all the best. Love you all.